Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this video, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the stream function. Again, I am saying you, this is one of the topic where student has most of the doubts and confusion. So, stay with me to get more conceptual clarity on Clary Concepts. Okay. So, let us say for example, I have the fluid flowing in some direction. Okay. And the flow is, let us say, incompressible in nature. And if I would like to understand the flow, I define the Cartesian coordinate system x and y, where this is the origin. And if I plot, uh, plot a point A in reference to this coordinate system, and at this point, I found a fluid particle which has the velocity, let us say, Va. And this velocity Va has two components, Ua and Va, where U is component along x and V in component along y. Yes. So, these are the two components of this particular velocity vector. Similarly, if you find another point, and but obvious at this point also the velocity may not be same, it may also be different. So, I found another point B and velocity is let us say VB, whose components are UB and VB. So, now here if you see velocity is changing with respect to space, is not it? It is different. So, U is different at both the points, V is also different at both the points. Now, stream function is one of the, uh, you know, one of the important part that you can use see. Stream function is what? Let us first understand the concept. Uh, let me first show it to you that stream function is represented by a symbol called psi and it basically is a function of x and y coordinate now in this particular case, right? It is such a function that when you differentiate this function with respect to y, you will get the velocity in x. That means when you differentiate this function with respect to y, you will get velocity in x coordinate. That means u u is the velocity of fluid in x coordinate, yes. Similarly, when you differentiate this function with respect to x, with respect to x, you will get the velocity in negative of the velocity in x direction, sorry, y direction. When you differentiate this with respect to x, you will get the component of, negative of the component of velocity in y direction. So, that means negative of v, v is the component of velocity in y, but negative of v. So, what can you say, v will be equals to what? v will be equals to minus del psi by del x and u will be equal to this. So, if you look at this both expression, rather than u talking about u and v individually, if somebody simply gives you just psi, a stream function, then easily you can say that what is u and what is v, just by one uh, function. And let me tell you one thing, stream function basically will be constant along the streamlines. So, this also represents the streamlines in the fluid flow. And I hope you know what are streamlines which we have already have discussed in the previous lecture. So, if you have not understood, kindly go and look at that lecture. So, now I define the stream function. Stream function is a scalar function, first of all, which is defined for the incompressible flow such that its derivative with respect to y coordinate, its derivative with respect to y coordinate gives the velocity component in x direction, gives the velocity component in x direction, right, u. And its derivative with respect to x coordinate, that means this del psi by del x, gives negative of the velocity component in y direction, that means negative of v, and therefore v equals to negative of del psi by del x. So, whenever stream function is given to you, you simply what you do, del psi by del x, sorry, del psi by del y, you will, it will give you u, and then del psi by del x, put negative, it will give you v. Remember these things, simple. So, let us now solve some numericals on this. So, I have first example, a stream function is given by this, determine the velocity magnitude of the fluid at a point defined by the position vector this, when t equals to 2 and all the variables are in SI unit, that means x, y, z will be in meters and time will be in meter, I mean in seconds, right. So, firstly, psi is given to you, psi is given to you as 3 x square y plus 2 plus t into y square, is not it? This is the function of x, y and t. Now, what they have asked? They have asked to find out the velocity at a given point. But first you need to find what is u and v because you know velocity is what? Velocity vector is u i plus v j for a 2D field, right? Now, what is u firstly? If psi is given to you, I can say u is equals to del psi by del y. So, just differentiate this with respect to y. So, del by del y of 3x square y plus 2 plus t y square. What will you get? Differentiation of this with respect to y, it will be 3x square as it is plus 2 times 2 plus t into y. This is your u. Now, you want to find u at this position vector. So, where 1 is your x, 
y is 2, z is let's say 3 minus 3 and time is your uh, just 2, right? Put the values over here, what you will get? 3 into what is x? 1 square plus 2 into 2 plus what is time? Time is 2 and what is y? 2. Find out the answer of u. Find out the answer of u, let me calculate. This is 2 plus 2, 4, 4 to 0, 8 to 0, 16. 16 plus 3, 19 meters per second because it is an SI unit, right? So, I found u. Now, what is v? v is equals to del psi by del x but negative of that. So, minus of differentiation of psi that is 3x square y plus 2 plus t y square. Now, do it with respect to x. What you will get? This is 3x square y. So, this is uh, x square will become 2x that is 6xy and this will be 0 but it will be minus, right? Now, put the values of x and y. What is x? 1. What is y? 2. It is minus 12 meter per second. This is your v. Now, once u and v are aware, available with you, you can now uh, find out the magnitude of velocity. Simply, you, you have determined the velocity magnitude, right? What do you got? That means v is equals to ui plus vj. What is u? 19 meter per second. So, 19i minus, I will put it like this, minus, minus of 12j. This is v. Now, find out the magnitude. This is under root of 19 square plus under root of minus 12 square. So, 19 square plus minus 12 square under root of this, this will give you 22.47 meters per second which is the final answer. I hope you understand, let me check the answer whether it is right or not. Okay. Yes, 22.47. Perfect. Clear? So, I hope you got this answer. Let us solve another numerical for better understanding. A two-dimensional incompressible fluid flow is defined by the velocity field. So, you have been given the velocity field. Now, determine the stream function for the given flow field. Now, it is a reverse case. Your V is given to you. Velocity field that is 5x cube i minus 15x square y j. Now, firstly figure out what is u and v. So, u is 5x cube and your v is minus 15x square y because it is whatever is before this i j quadrant that is v and then whatever is, is uh, prefix of this i vector that is your u. So, you got u and v. Now, you know that um, if you differentiate psi with respect to y, you will get u and when you differentiate psi with respect to x you will get minus v or minus of that will be plus so you can just put like this so del psi by del x will be minus of v yes now put the values del psi by del y will be equals to what u u is 5x cube and then del psi by del x will be equals to minus of minus 15x square y so this is del psi by del x is equals to 15x square y. Now, let me first integrate this equation with respect to y. So, if I integrate this with respect to y, I will get del psi by del y into dy equals to integral 5x cube dy. Now, if you cut this out, you will see this is psi is equals to integration with respect to y. You can take x cube outside and this will be just y plus a function of x. There might be chance that it will be a function of x. Right, because for x it will be treated as constant in this particular part. So, now when it is partially integrated, now what do you do? Psi is equals to 5x cube y plus f of x. Now, somehow you need to find the value of f of x. You don't know what is that. So, what will you do is, this is equation number 1, let us say. Now, what do you do? You will differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. So, what will you get? Let us see, partially differentiate this. So, del psi by del x will be equals to differentiate with respect to x you will get this 3 15 x square y 15 x square y plus 
differentiation of f with respect to x will be df by dx, isn't it? Now I don't know what is this. Now what is this dA psi by dx? I got this value. I can put this over here. So I will get 15x square y equals to 15x square y plus df by dx will get cancelled. So df by dx is 0 which means f is not a function of x it is a constant. So you can say that f is equal to some constant c and this constant can be put it over here. So your psi finally will become 5x cube y plus a constant c. This is your answer. So the stream function for a given flow field is what is psi is equals to 5 x cube y plus a constant c clear so i hope you understood the basic concepts of stream function thank you so much and i uh, you, you can solve the numericals based on stream function in a way i have explained you for more such conceptual videos you can log into our website clariconcepts.com thank you